Hi there and welcome to this short video about the Novation Nova desktop virtual analog synth built in the early 2000s. So this video has unfortunately an unpleasant background and was created rather spontaneously. When I wanted to turn on my Nova the other day nothing happened and of course I was shocked at first and thought oh shit one of my favorite synthesizers has passed away. If you want to know why I love this little beast and how it sounds in action, a link to the demo is above in the info card. After a little research I found out the power supplies of the Nova series like to cause trouble. Since it's not a standard power supply, you can unfortunately not get it on every corner. These power supplies are offered only very expensive and so I decided to have a closer look by myself. And here is the typical error pattern for this power supply problem. Um, you switch on the device, the display remains dark and all LEDs glow at the same time. And nothing happens. The original power supply is the KA60A. It's a switching power supply with three voltages supporting 12 volts, minus 12 volts and 5 volts. Uh, I will show you the pin out of the connector later in the video. So you could even replace it with a standard ATX power supply from your computer, but uh, I would say this is not a very elegant solution. So let's take a look inside and uh, see if we can find a bug. But beware, do not perform this work uh, yourself if you are not familiar with uh, electrical safety standards. Electricity is and always will be really dangerous. Now we have the open power supply with the primary and secondary side. In many cases the capacitors dry out after so many years. So the power supply then delivers no or only unclean output voltages. Electrolytic capacitors are classic electronic wear parts. Sometimes you can see defective capacitors already from the outside, then the lid is blown up or is leaking. But in my case all capacitors are looking fine from the outside. Now you can try to put a little heat on the capacitors to point out which one is the defective one. In this case I think the small ones here with the 3.3 and the 2.2 microfarad are defective. Um, when you heat it up and switch on the Nova boots up fine. But when you have uh, opened everything I would always advise you to recap the whole power supply because after 20 years um, maybe tomorrow the next one is defective and then you start again from zero. After I have replaced all capacitors I check the voltages at the plug again with the multimeter and you can see the assignment in the picture. If all this does not lead to success you can also take this alternative power supply from Meanwhile. This is the only one I have found in a case. It's the type GP25A13D-R1B. The best way is to search it in the internet. Um, but when you take this alternative PSU you have to reassemble the plug. After everything is done the exciting moment follows. But as you can see I brought the Nova back to life. And when this was helpful or you liked that video I would be happy about a thumb up or a feedback in the comments. Have a nice day!